Many drug delivery methods right now have a lot of side effects and so we need to have ways that we can deliver drugs just to the disease tissue. The future of medicine is small, really small. A tiny camera swallowed in pill form that evaluates your health. A harmless microscopic nanoparticle injected with dye or drugs used to target cancer cells. At Penn State, these ideas are no longer the stuff of science fiction. Penn State is on the leading edge of new developments in nanotechnology. It's a multidisciplinary effort involving many of our programs coming together around inventions that can really lead the way for the future of science in this area. The university also benefits from collaboration between basic scientists and doctors at its Penn State Hershey Medical Center in Hershey, where pioneering research is tested in clinical settings. Doctors have real clinical needs. They need to be able to see something at higher resolution or they need their sensors to be smaller. And so when you can partner between a medical doctor and the scientists and engineers who can say, I think we can make you this device, then there can really be some synergy. The pill-shaped autonomous ultrasound imaging device combines diverse, high-end technologies in a tool with multiple uses. If you've ever seen a medical imaging system, they, they're often relatively large. It's something that's often the size of a desk with a transducer that's substantial. What I'm trying to do is to be able to miniaturize the entire system and put it onto something that would be smaller than the size of your fingernails. And the advantages of a system like that is that you could imagine putting it into a pill that you can swallow. Uh, if we can steer that pill to make it swim to an area of interest, uh, we should then be able to do very high resolution imaging. And we hope over the next maybe two to five years to really begin to look at the clinical applications of that. Working even smaller, the university's nanoparticle imaging and delivery systems promise tremendous therapeutic benefits. We have a lot of great drugs for cancer treatment. The problem is all these drugs are basically geared to stopping cells from growing. They go everywhere. They target any cell that's growing. Wouldn't it be nice to design a drug delivery vehicle that could only deliver to a cancer cell? The exciting part is we've created this technology out of something very simple, something your body knows. It's calcium phosphate, same stuff that make up your teeth. So your body doesn't see this as foreign. And inside these calcium phosphate nanoparticles, we can put drugs that treat cancer, or we can put fluorescent molecules. A fluorescent molecule is when it's hit by light, fluoresces. It emits something, and you can look at that. So we're doing bioimaging with this nanotechnology. They've injected these nanoparticles into animals. They've circulated for two, maybe three days, and they've shown that they localize to tumors. The tumors just light right up, and, and they can see them. We're at the point now where some of our technologies are in the process of hopefully within next year making that leap from the bench to the bedside. Improving medical science's ability to get inside the human system, to deliver cures and monitor health, is just another example of Penn State's growing legacy. Some of the work that we do does sound like science fiction, uh, but in many cases, this fundamental vision enables you to make enormous advances. I believe that we will be developing a Penn State technology that will be able to image, treat, and seek tumors in real time without toxic side effects for patients. Being president of Penn State these days is like being a kid in a candy store. There are so many exciting things going on as you get exposed to them each day. Uh, I just become immensely proud of what our scientists, our researchers, our scholars, our faculty are doing.